Hello everyone, I am making this video to talk about uh, something called Quandel and how to use that with R. So I came to know about this a few weeks ago with uh, through some of my friends. And this is quite an interesting thing. You can download a lot of data. You can download a lot of things using Quandel. And what I was uh, looking for is uh, building an AR1 model, uh, AR1 Monte Carlo simulation model in R using Quandel. So let me just open a little bit about uh, what I'm trying to do here. So this software is, uh, or rather, a database pulling uh, a website is Quandel. Now earlier to this. Uh, Q U A N D L Q U A N N D L Prior to this I was using Yahoo and as you know Yahoo can enable us pull data into MATLAB or R so this is just like the same so I made an account here then I installed uh, uh, the Quandel library so uh, we can do that uh, using uh, the Quandel code. So let me show you how to do that. So if you go to Quandel's website and you go to resources, then you go to uh, this uh, R cheat sheet. So you can download this cheat sheet to understand a little bit about R. So then you go to uh, packages and then you go to R. And if you are going to run this install package.quandel library quandel, this would actually make R go to the website and install quandel. So I did the same somewhere here or okay, it's lost in my last screen so I did the same and uh, this uh, got installed uh, in the uh, packages so it co it's coming here Q U A N D L in my packages once it uh, got installed I used it to bring the code of uh, uh, sorry uh, to bring the uh, SNP data now just a disclaimer here you can do this uh, using just the R and the Yahoo uh, codes as well but this Quandel is uh, having some unique features which uh, I'll, I'll talk about. So then I uh, called this uh, code. So uh, to initiate uh, this library you need an authorization code. So this authorization code is given on your uh, screen. Uh, on your account so if you go to the API and you will get the authorization token so you have to go to your account API and you have to use this authorization code to uh, uh, get in and make sure that uh, you are pulling the data So when you uh, use this authorization code and as I used it here, so I was using a wrong authorization code of my friend's computer. Then I used my authorization code and I used talk data is equal to Quandel and then I used uh, this yahoo underscore index gspc. If you don't know the meaning here, gspc is a different uh, uh, exchange uh, rate. So, uh, So I get this would be something like global server or something like that and then I use the start date and the end date and uh, I, I never specified that this was day but the default data came for the day. So when I did that all of that data uh, was extracted into a stock data variable that I was using. So it came something like this. 
when it came something like this i wanted to use the last row and run some mathematical calculation and and make some future prediction based on the ar1 model so about that you can go on the check she uh, cheat sheet of r so our cheat sheet is again given by the same guys and these are the assignment operation element operation this is very similar to matlab so concatenate column concatenate row concatenate um uh, by concatenate we mean that uh, just extract those row and uh, create a matrix so uh, uh, what i was looking for is to select the last column here because i just wanted that so i i wrote stock data and remember don't use this bracket i initially forgot so this is for the function to extract the last uh, uh, column you have to use comma or 2 or 5 or whatever that you want to use for so when i use 2 i think i got the open price let me just check so 1861.73 1861.73 so this actually bought in that data if you want to confirm you can go and read the second entry so 1846.01 and here again 1846.01 so in in it, it's showing like this but actually this is uh uh into uh, uh just a uh, uh, one uh, <coughs> one column so when you run this column then you have got uh, an arima function which would do all the uh, arima calculations for you so when you say arima and takes this so even you don't have to bring this into variable and this will fit an arima model with some of the details So I went ahead and I checked some of the Arima functions that were given, and I got some interesting Arima features. So the Arima function, this is the official site. X is the uh, uh, time series uh, order is like what you want to run. If you remember, this order is like the lag time series and so on. So it's like uh, Arima zero one zero. Whether you want it to uh, process the last time or t minus four. how many terms you want to have and so on seasonal uh, transform pair fixed and so on so these are uh, uh some of the values so then this would uh, uh run and give you the uh, output so this is the order most of the time we'll use the order so when i did that i got the arima if i want to confirm this i can probably uh, bring this into excel and try to uh, do the same analysis there so that was it about how to use arima uh, the very basics of uh, how i was using this quondel and the r to actually bring in the data and run some analysis i hope you uh, like this thank you for watching